Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about an easy problem from Leopold. The problem name is find the difference of two areas. So let us talk about the problem statement. You are given two zero index integer arrays, nums1 and nums2. As you can see, we are given two integer array, nums1 and nums2. You have to return a list answer of size 2. So answer array is of size 2 and it has two arrays. Answer of 0 and answer of 1. So these are two arrays that is to be printed in the the larger group of answer uh, list okay now the first array is a list of all distinct integers in nums1 which are not present in nums2 so it should consist of distinct integers which are present in nums1 but not present in nums2 and similarly the other way around you have to find it out so pretty much simple you just have to use different data structures to find a distinct elements one which is present in nums1 and not in nums2 and so on so uh, either you can do it in a very brute force way manner as well which can be like for every number check that if it is present here it should not be presented here and in the end you just find out the ones that are distinct and print it out so that can be done in o of n cross m so n is the length of this m is the length of this so o into m cross n can also be used so oh, this is length n this is length m total is for every number uh, we'll check that whether this is present here so should it present here because every number that is present in nums1 and not present in nums2 have to be printed out so uh, you can do this in o of n cross m okay but that is not the solution that we want you can optimize it more using hash map how uh, because uh, instead of like doing this in a manner for all of this like uh, in this manner we are not using any extra space but in hash map we can use extra space but to increase our uh, you can say uh, or actually uh, increase our run like you can say increase our code speed uh, so we can like uh, optimize our runtime for this particular uh, program so what we can do here is that we can store all these values inside a hash map so that we can easily grasp on it easily very fast so we can create hash maps out of it which like store all these maps and the frequencies now again we'll iterate over this map and we will directly just check now that whether one is here is it present inside the other array or not because we just want distant element which is present in nums1 but not in nums2 so because we have created a hash map on top of it we can like, like we can if we use a map we can search using log n if you are using a hash like unordered map we can find it in o of one as well uh, but let's say we use just only a map so uh, we can just take for every number and find out that whether it is present inside the other array or not so it can take o of n log n okay to find it out you just have to also ensure that we are just storing out distant value whenever i say distant i also try to use a set here so try to use a set in such scenarios whenever you have to store so for every number if it is present here and not present here push it inside of some set so that you can only store distinct values in the end you will have to do the same thing for both of these arrays i just went out okay i have, I have used you can say uh, the same code twice but you could have also made a function out of it and then store it out so let's go over the code part now uh, so whatever is asked here we have done here we have first created two hash maps two maps to store out the values in nums1 and nums2 in maps then this is a set and this is the vector so set is used to store distant values and this is the vector to store out the final answer what we are doing is that we are iterating over all the values in nums1 checking that it should be present in the nums1 but not present in nums2 if it is condition is met what we'll do is that we'll insert it inside the set okay so that it will only hold distant values if we are encountered two threes like this Okay, when we are doing a for loop, it will check that it is present here, not present here. Okay, like it is present here, it, it is also present here. Skip one, uh, skip two. Then when it comes to three, three is present here, but not present here. So I will push three inside the set. And again, three is again negligible, but I will only store three once because I have to only print distant value. So it, I should print only three one times in the output. That is why I cannot directly push it directly inside the answer vector. So that is one thing that you have to first insert in all the values inside the set you have to do the same thing for the other vector as well and then when you have all the sets distant values now you will iterate over the set value and insert those distant value inside this temporary vector now you have these two temporary vectors these two temporary vectors 
then you have to insert these two temporary vectors and combine them into a final answer so what we have done is that we have taken these two values these two are these two vectors and then we have to push both of these vectors inside a common answer vector so that we actually got a complete encapsulation that we actually want so this that this is actually done to find out and print out the answer in the format that is required in the problem so that's the overall logic and code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts we venture on the coin box i have just done what is actually asked nothing much i have done so that's it i will see you in the next one like keep coding and bye